Uh, good evening, afternoon, morning, whatever it may be. Middle of the night, we got a Conduit 52 uh, weekly matchup between Squiddy Hummus. Nope, <laughs> between Cheeky Hummus and Squiddy. <laughs> My name is Tic Tac Bo. I read those names too fast. And uh, we're ready to get this one going. Both racers are here. A seed has been delivered. And uh, we'll get it going. Once they're ready. <laughs> Coming close to the end of the week here, uh, although this is Chiggy Hummus's first match. It is Squiddy's third. They're rocking a record of 6-0. and oh. The best win, 838. Sub-9 in Conduit. That's pretty hype. And an average win of 10.07. I think I saw um, that race last night. Some uh, frog socks were involved, I believe. But yeah, we'll be looking forward to the Conduit 52 Finals, hosted on Elad Difficult's channel this Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Should be pretty exciting. I had to double check to make sure <laughs> Chiefs were playing on Sunday and not Saturday, so I can watch both these things. Not a chief sand, but we live there, so uh, home team and stuff. <laughs> yeah, cheeky hummus. You don't need your condor mod. Conduit is just the base game. Axes are allowed. Boots of leaping and lunging are very satisfying to see. All the good things. And that's one of the cool things about Conduit. It's an entry-level tournament. People who have never raced before, never streamed before, maybe never played Necker Dancer before, but have raced and streamed. It's all an introduction to the whole ecosystem we use for Condor, Crypto the Necker Dancer Online Racing. Season 14 coming up in a few weeks signups are open there are rules to be voted on as well and looks like our racers are situated and ready to go cheeky hummus versus squiddy let's glhf Countdown's on. So this is a match of three. Each victory is a point awarded to that racer. The racers with the most points at the end of the week are invited to the finals. You score a point by headed down the stairs after defeating the Necrodancer and seeing the uh, end game time pop up. And we're off. So Conduit, no mods. Adjusting uh, the game. The only mods we do allow here are uh, the main character Cadence reskins, which you can see on Squiddy's side, uh, the enemy clone, and then Dorian. Otherwise, everything needs to be the same because you can gain advantages if you know something's this or that. Same thing goes for uh, in game hints. You got to turn those off because uh, they can identify stuff like around walls. It looks like we have a early cracked wall here. Squiddy's just going to blow it up. It is the blood shop. Hummus is going to try and get the Minotaur over here and will eventually do it. It's not a great blood shop. There's a uh, frost charm cookies 
I think hummus is gonna go for the blood drum after doing all that, yeah. But Squiddy just buys the cookies and uh, the frost charm and moves on into one, two. Pulpacers with a long sword. Hummus back to the beginning. Messing up that blood shopkeeper kill. It happens sometimes. It's not a guaranteed fight. Extra bomb for Squiddy and gonna drag this dragon up into the shop. Use the fireball to scare Freddy away and we can get a blood rapier and a torch, not bad. And gonna get a luck charm on top of it. No milking though. And looks like Hummus is gonna try for this Minotaur kill or uh, open again. And I think after seeing what was in there, maybe you don't need to waste the time doing this. I would just go ahead to one, two, if you see your opponent, what they are doing there. That's the thing we do encourage in uh, Condor, Conduit racing is uh, screen watching. There's no real way to enforce not doing it. And uh, it actually adds another little nugget of uh, fun <laughs> to racing because uh, it's another skill you kind of got to kind of learn how to do when you look at your screen and uh, when you have time to pay attention to what your opponent's doing or when to pay attention. Hummus going down again there to the blood shopkeeper. And then it also provides a nice little rubber banding effect for the person who is behind. At some of the higher tier levels, you actually see uh, drafting being quite an important skill to do. You just kind of stay within striking distance while still gaining all the information from your opponent being ahead of you. Squiddy making quite the build here. Switching off to the Obsidian Rapier. Gonna pass on uh, the boss try. Didn't have a bomb to get the extra weapon charm. Uh, also has quartz armor. Bunch of hearts after that food shop. And we're gonna be onto Fortissimal, your zone one boss. Looks like this first race, uh, Squiddy's just kind of feeling out their opponent. Since uh, Cheeky Hummus hasn't posted a race yet this week. Never really know what you're in for. So maybe the first race be a little conservative. Make a build you can win with and uh, get that loot. See, now Hummus is uh, into the one-two shop doing the thing. Doing the Freddy scare. Squiddy now with a bomb spell and a shield spell. Almost has this build complete. Would like to get a better shovel and a ring, perhaps. Boots are always nice, but not necessary. Nothing's necessary. You can do a slow percent. Wait till Condor season, uh, you know, 24, when we've banned everything because it's too powerful. <laughs> Another uh, empty heart container for Squiddy on that sacrifice shrine. And here's the food shop for hummus. Um, I think Squiddy brought the Minotaur over for it. It might be too little too late. Hummus might need to just kind of get up and go here. Might want to check the boss shrine. Can have like, I don't know, earth spell in it. Plus the damage. Maybe just the plus one damage with uh, the blood rapier. Okay, so that wasn't the thing you wanted to do. You already got cheese. Maybe they forgot to hit it first. Death Metal, your zone two boss. Flawless victory for Squiddy. Can we check in purple chest for a ring? Finds a free spell instead, so goodbye bomb spell. While Hummus gets into the Fortissimal fight after clearing out the mosh pit. And a nice, easy Fortissimal fight gets the Flawless Victory. Squiddy with quite the lead, adding a Blast Helm and a Ring of Regen and a map. So here's your build. Shovel and shoes still missing, but this is uh, pretty much all the things you want. Oh, and there's a map in the shop too. A map for both eyes. Here's a shovel upgrade, glass shovel. I'm just gonna end up with a ring of might after that conjure. And 
Squiddy's gonna hop down into 3-3. Mapping tells us where the exit is, but we got time to check the shop, so I think that's what we're gonna do. Find that heavy plate. Remembers they have a blast helm. Excellent job. <laughs> nice shield there for Hummus, that dragon down the hallway. That was really good. Could just tap left and head down the stairs. a spore hit on hummus there quartz armor gonna keep us at one damage of health though here's a transmute shop gonna go for a shovel can do one or two more transmutes gonna end up on the battle shovel and find a squagga suit squiddy into your zone three boss it's deep blues straight up the middle and a freeze lost their uh glass shovel and we'll be into zone four almost at 10 hearts Hummus into death metal. Just a few lunges with this plus one obsidian rapier. Gets the flaws victory. Dry baby for Squiddy. We've already passed the transmute shop, so no thanks. Yo, you hit the shrine of risk. It drops a transmute spell. That's the play. Nice freeze there on the 4-1 uh, exit room. There's the blast dome for Hummus. Checking this purple chest. There's the ring of regen. And now they got the build too. They just gotta start speeding. Don't mind that uh, speed uh, police behind you there. Just keep going fast. Squiddy getting pushed back quite a bit here. These dual golems and that wall pig. Finally gets around the wall pig, and we'll be headed out of 4-2. Good freeze there for Hummus. Would have liked to see a shield, I think. I think they're a bit caught off guard by that Minotaur coming down right away. And they're gonna find the heavy plate, but at this point you don't really need it. What you need is to start going. Finding the exit, getting out of there. Nice uh, spike traps there for Squiddy. Just taking all the damage here. Using that heavy plate for what it's worth. And we'll be in the core riff. Your zone four boss. Easy kill here with the freeze spell. And carry on in zone five. Oh, not that easy. <laughs> Did a blood freeze there. Could have shielded. It's fine. Ring of regen will bring us back up. Cheeky at half a heart going into deep blues. That ring of regen going to give us back up. Yeah, yeah, some some type of spell use is just fine. We like it. There's a shrine. Oh, a shrine of rhythm on five two. You do it. <laughs> you skip the whole level. Maybe if the race was closer. Oh yeah, bomb for a heart transplant? Yeah, that's not terrible either. Gotta fight dragons then though. Might as well just go to the exit too. It's pretty in the 5-3 exit. As Hummus uh, gets back to four hearts of health here. After this shop, Dead Ringer, the first one of the match. We got a right side spawn, easy. Left side, scoop. Scoo -scoo 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 -scoo. Handles it just fine. Gets the flawless. Gonna dig the stage. We only have one bomb. Hummus using their freeze to get through this 4 1 exits. Into 4 2. We gonna remember the shield feature? We do! And Squiddy's into phase 2. Plenty of health on Cadence. Just keep an eye on Dad. Dad has a flail, so he can usually take care of himself. Frog socks for hummus. Leave them on the ground. A little too late now. 
And uh, Squiddy gonna take the first loot of the match just under 11 minutes. GG's. Ah, just over 11 minutes on a Condor bot. Hey, Joe, good to see you. I like doing it. And welcome, everyone. What's going on, Ronkley? Waski, Katamari, how y'all doing? Here you go, Katamari. Whoa! Two more races yet. Good warm up run. Good far, uh, good like, uh, building run. Finding each item in zone one, expanding upon it in zone two, completing it in zone three, and by that time, Squiddy was, uh, taking off. Next seeds here. And once they're ready, we'll get going. Racers are readied up. Countdown's on. Race number two in the pipeline. Here we go. One, one. Really cracked wall. We can get a value bomb by pushing the crate over. Both uh, racers had the same idea. Great minds. Find a blood shop. It's bad. <laughs> I mean, glass broadsword's fine. Um, Hummus gonna throw kill and get the blood drum. I do like that play. And Squiddy just buying the, uh, the broadsword and heading out. Broadsword's not a great attack pattern, but the four damage is great. No damage is terrible, though. Hummus is uh, going to be running from that huge conga line. You just kind of... Okay, they're going back for the gold staff? Going back for the dagger? Yeah, gold staff. <laughs> for the bow. Go for the bow, Hummus. <laughs> Someone listen to commentary? <laughs> Lock shop for Squiddy here with that Rant Charisma. Could be some good buys. Yeah, I could buy almost the entire shop. I think I would switch to the longsword, yeah. Just a more, um, a cleaner attack pattern. You don't get snagged so much. I'm just gonna see what's in this uh, crate. It's gonna be a map, it's a bomb. Bummer. Bombs are always good too. And here's a early leprechaun for Squiddy, taking out that mini boss, making that pile of gold. Oh, misses it though. Should be able to, yeah, bomb it. Oh, that fair and balance was coming in to mess it up. It was waiting there. It knew what it was doing. Two extra heart containers for Hummus and Squiddy. In uh, the one three shop. And we're moving on trap door for Squiddy. Okay. I was headed in the same direction. There are a few sub rooms down there that could have some secrets. Oh, and Hummus went up, finds a shrine of peace. You could bomb that and enchant the hammer. Hammer time. Or get a ring piece, you know. Ring piece is pretty good too. Um, a flail of the obsidian style for Squiddy after that flawless boss fight, which is kind of good with the ballet shoes because they'll always be maxed. But once again, you're dealing with kind of a snaggy attack pattern. And Hummus is just going to stay on 
the base um, hammer should use the uh, blood drum to make this much quicker. And I'm gonna get the full heal off the Shrine of Peace, but this fight could have been done way faster, that blood drum. I'm gonna find a pulse spell in the purple chest. It's something Squiddy's gonna miss out on, but Squiddy did find an earth spell, which Hummus just did too, so there we are. I would even consider a glass hammer. I mean, they're not terrible. They just kind of smash everything. One damage in zone two is super snaggy. But Hummus is making it work. A lot of glass weapons on this seed. Shop check here for Squiddy. There's some good stuff. See now, uh, we're gonna get Earth Kill here. Some Hargreaves, Heavy Plate, and the Ring of Piercing, most importantly, which is very good with uh, a Flail. It gets rid of some of the snag problems. Ballet Shoes gonna keep because of uh, the Obsidian. I like that. And they're going to be into the mosh pit for Fortissimal, your zone 2 boss. Nice blood drum there for Hummus at the 2-3 exit. Getting <laughs> bit trolled here by that Wind Mage. And kind of using the hammer incorrectly there. Could have attacked to the right and uh, cleared out that skeleton a bit quicker. There's some more boot passing for Squiddy. Want to stay on those ballet shoes. Gonna find a trap door into 3 2. Good old whack a mole for hummus. Good earth there. Or just one more hit. Yeah, that's good. They'll be into zone 3. After a uh, heal spell's found. So, heal spell would be great to take, um, but you really start have to utilizing your, your blood drum. Taking out those high HP enemies in one hit or multiple enemies. Here's a blood shrine for hummus. Could blow it up for the ring of regen. And then you really need to start using your blood drum because you don't have any damage here. So he's going to be into 3-3. Uh, three, three. And finds a Shrine of Chance. Gonna hit it a few times, finding an Obsidian Rapier. Pairs really nice with those ballet shoes. And Hummus, uh, down to two hearts. Missed the stair heal there. And Hummus is gonna go down, just uh, getting cornered by a bunch of shielded enemies. So Squiddy's gonna deal with Coral Rift, welcome them to Earth, and we'll have a very comfortable lead into Zone 4. Can only get hit five times though with the Heavy Plate, no healing. That's possible in Zone 4, you can get surrounded pretty quick. Step on traps, stuff like that. Bats shouldn't be a problem because we have the, uh, the Luck Charm, which is very nice. Nice earth defense there. Needed to do it. Otherwise, that harpy was getting a free hit. And uh, they can slow play procedure here, too. Yeah, they're going to be checking the shop. Or did they? No, they killed the shopkeeper. Yeah, they got the murder crown on. Boots of pain. Careful. It's a heart and a half you don't want to lose. Putting that Infernal Torch to work, I like that. Especially in Zone 4, it's super satisfying to line up a bunch of enemies and Infernal Torch them. Another good defensive Earth there. Cutting that exit room in half. And they'll be done with it in the 4-3. So Hummus at that Shrine of Peace again. Um, I still feel like you blow it up and enchant your hammer. It sounds like fun.
Pixie Kiss for Squiddy. Getting a bunch of health back there. And then, yeah, really good Infernal Torch. Taking off the Sarcophagus and the mini boss. Into King Kongo. All right, Hummus is going to do it. Titanium Hammer. I like it. And then Piercing's coming up in like the next shop or so. With the heavy plate in it. That's good stuff. Squiddy taking out the conga line, but does get hit, and that Blade Master shows up. But Squiddy in zone five, going to the shop, but you still got the Mortar Crown, and maybe they're just clearing out the back enemy. Clearing out that 5 1 exit room. Uh, three bombs for the Knucker Dancer fight. That's all you need. Has a quick kill with the Earth spell for Dead Ringer. I wonder if the shop's going to be different for Hummus because of, uh, Trying to piece memes. I think it was on the next level we saw it. Here's Dead Ringer for Squiddy. Maybe it was on the third level. I don't know. It's a left side spawn, so I imagine we'll do some Earth. Yep. Two Earths. Equal no Dead Ringer. Good cur curse potion use there for Squiddy. Um, that's a bunch of hearts back. Heavy plate's still gonna protect a lot of it. And we'll head into this Necrodancer fight. Unfortunately, Hummus didn't find that shop or it didn't exist, one of the two. And we'll be uh, into this Fortissimal fight, another whack-a-mole. Looks like they're just going to wait for Squiddy to uh, complete here, which is fair. Two more hits for Squiddy, and they'll collect the second loot of this match pretty much the same time as last time. A little faster. Like two seconds faster, it looks like, on a Discord bot. We have it. Second loot obtained. So Squiddy looking to get a perfect record going into the finals. Sitting at 8-0 right now. Just needs one more for that 9-0. I don't know if Conduit's seeded or not. It probably is. <laughs> get that number one seed. Pretty sure they have the dot fastest right now with the eight minute run. Yeah, they have the two dot fastests, 838 and 923. And the fourth, 934. Pretty good. That's right, DNH, it's right here tonight. Uh, Conduit 52, uh, Cheeky Hummus versus Squiddy. Trying to get that fabled 9 and 0. All right, racers got their seeds entered in. We're readied up here to go. I'm sitting up straight in my chair. I just had some water and the countdown's on. More do you need? Probably more cowbell. Do any of these songs have cowbell in it? I don't think so. Hey, 
pictures of Spider-Man. Okay. I'm on it. Early Shriner. Uh, it's not terrible. You blow up the left two, and then you hit the, uh, yeah, Spidey's doing it. Hit that for the weapon. It's a flail. And then you got your choice of pretty good rings. Probably regen. I'm going for peace. Okay. I like regen because it gives the, uh, blood magic opportunities. Although, um, when you don't have spells yet, peace is pretty good too. Thomas is going to miss out on all of that, unfortunately, because they decided to skip it. Um, there is a free map or shovel and miner's cap here. Looks like free map for hummus. I think Squiddy missed that. No, we're on one, two. Wait. Oh, it's going to be different because it's Shriner. Nice barrel find there for hummus. The uh, ring of might. So two damage now. Oh, monkey hugs with the Minotaur around the corner. Gonna send Hummus back to 1-1. One, one. Another peek at that Shriner and deciding, no. I already saw this. I gotta go. Gold cat there for Squiddy. Probably gonna pass that. Just because uh, this flail is at least two damage. I think it's titanium flail, anyway. Death metal, your zone one boss. Five swipes to take him down. Oh, got hit by a ghost coming in there, so no flawless victory. But cheese can get us back to full health. Hum us back at that shrine of space. Another map. Get that ring again in the barrel. And no monkey hug this time. There's the monkey. No hug. Shop check here for Squiddy. Gonna get a battle shovel upgrade. So if we dig a wall and then attack, it'll do infinite damage. Plus it's a tier two digging shovel, so the tier two walls get destroyed as well. And there you see it right there, killing that dragon in one hit. This song though, is very good. Where are my dancing emotes? There you go. I like Cheeky's build here. Uh, two damage cat with gold kills. Could do one right here on a uh, death metal. Squiddy into King Conga, your zone two boss. Gonna use the flail to take out the Conga line. Into zone two. Flawless victory for Squiddy. Gonna get a shield spell before headed into zone three. Nice addition since we don't have any armor. Another good battle shovel kill there. Straight into three two. And gonna buy up that entire shop. Wow, big spender. Get a titanium rapier, some explorer boots, and a torch of walls. A little bit of mapping before we exit zone three. And here's some more mapping, the compass. Gonna buy the crown of teleportation. No, gonna go for the armor, the Hargreaves. Since we don't have any armor, I think that's fair. A lock shop here on two, two, or is this two, three for uh, Cheeky. 
Uh, nothing really great in there, though. Be into the King Konga fight, just as Squiddies is into Fortissimal. So, a one-zone lead here. Quick, flawless victory for Squiddy. Gonna look for another spell in the purple chest and get Earth. I Means Core Rift's gonna be the zone four boss. Or Deep Blues. Earth works on both of them. Free cheese from this boss shrine. And that bomb trap. Get Squiddy back to full health. Hummus did not get the flawless victory. Into zone three. Take the trap door down into three, two. Banshee shows up right away. It's pretty great. Good pre shield there for Squiddy. And now finally headed out of 4 1. I assume a monkey teleport occurred because <laughs> we're going through this level again. A blood axe there. It'd be nice with plus one damage, but I think Squiddy yeah, is going to stay on the titanium reap here. We're finding a lot of food here and there to keep us alive. Speaking of staying alive, Cheeky Hummus at one heart. Dealing with this blood nightmare and entourage. I'm going to go down in the exit or entrance of the uh, Freddy shop there to a beetle. Back to 1-1. One, one. Bomb charm for Squiddy. The 10 bombs. It's a lot of bombs. And Squiddy looking poised to take that 9-0. Oh. A few more levels to complete. Ring of Pain added to this build now, too. Very nice. Minus the <laughs> pixie <laughs> rapier pain shenanigans. Yeah. Those suck. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go on the sunglasses. On 4-3, get plus one damage, so we're at the three. Plus pain splash. And yeah, we're doing some good slow play procedure here, getting some health back with uh, the carrot. Freezing the exit here. Maybe stay for the pixie kiss. Yeah, nice. And we're into Coral Rift. We can freeze or Earth. I think we Earth. Because then we can freeze Earth, Earth, uh, Dead Ringer. A Zappy Dagger found for Hummus on a 1 1. Was that in the Shriner? That's a really good weapon. Yes, Flannel. <laughs> that is the joke. It's Coral Riff, not Coral Reef. <laughs> Let me know if you see or spot any other puns in the game. Hey, a potion for Squiddy on 5-2. Did you know that the Minotaur plays its harp in the minuet of G? <laughs> yeah, that was a stretch. Uh, Dead Ringer's the left side spawn. Freeze, Earth, Earth. And into the Necker Dancer fight. We got big bombs. We have the shield feature. We have two potions in two different colors. I think we're set to do this. All the bombs. Squiddy's laying all the bombs. Bam, bam. Thank you, Necker Dancer Man. Give me that loot, number nine. Oh, Dad bathing in fire. Careful. Dad cannot drink the juice. Nice bomb there. 
It, I don't know if it helped at all. I think it just got Squiddy offbeat, if anything. <laughs> all right, there you have it. Squiddy's going to collect their ninth loot of the week. At 10.13. GG's. And that probably means that you'll see Squiddy in the Conduit 52 finals this weekend. Well, this Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern on ELED Difficult's channel. GG's. Um, I think there are a few more races yet. Cheeky has to do some anyway. Um, I don't know if they're scheduled. The only one scheduled right now is uh, Sick Skip McLazy versus uh, Teo Tim. And that'll be uh, on Saturday before the deadline. And then, of course, Thomas will have to do two more races. Yep. So we'll get those commentaries going uh, when they're scheduled. Uh, my name's Tic Tac Bo. Hope you guys all enjoyed the commentary. I had fun doing it. Racing on the deadline day is whack, yeah. Maybe, maybe you need that extra motivation pressure to get you going. That could be it. All right, I'm gonna find a raid target for you. Uh, I'm gonna send you guys over to Real Slim Katie. Uh, she raided us the other day while I was playing Spelunky, I think. Um. Looks like she's playing Inscription for the first time. And uh, Inscription first time runs are super fun to watch. I finally did my first Inscription run a little, a few days ago. So let's go check that out. I'll see you all, uh, see you all Saturday. And tomorrow, I'll be streaming tomorrow, my normal stuff. Did I, I did the wrong raid command. I know how to Twitch. <laughs> <laughs>